Hello class, in today's lesson we are going to actually work with formulas for area and perimeter of a rectangle. And we now know the area formula for air, uh, finding them on rectangles, but we are now going to really hit perimeter. This covers 4.5C um, and then we're going to actually get a little bit into 4.5D, which is the problem solving. Um, so perimeter, okay, and I have a little chant that I like you to learn. It says perimeter, perimeter, add up all the sides, area, area, find the space inside. So I know that last year you talked about perimeter and as you can see here on our notes, it says it's the distance around the figure. So anytime you see perimeter, I want you to write all the way around because it's the outside it's the distance around so go ahead and write that on your notes all the way around okay and you have to know formulas now they can give you a shape any type of shape and tell you the side lengths and you would just add up all the side lengths around if it was a a, a shape that you know an irregular shape or, or um, it wasn't a rectangle or a square but we have to learn to use formulas for rectangles and squares. So, the perimeter of a rectangle. So you're gonna see, if I wanted to know the distance around it, this is a length, this is a width, this is a length, and this is the width. So if I wanted to know, I would add up all the sides. That's what my chance says, perimeter, perimeter, add up all these sides. That's the perimeter. So I have two L's and I have two W's, and that's what we put here. P is equal to two L's, they look like ones, but they are L's, plus two W's, okay? So then the perimeter is, and this is what's in your math chart, it's two L plus two W. And if you remember, we've talked about this, especially on our spiral review, that when we see a letter and a number together, or we see a parentheses and a number together that side by side tells us to multiply. Side by side says to multiply. Stop and tell somebody in your household or your neighbor next to you in the classroom that side by side tells you to multiply. So what this is really saying then is perimeter is equal to two times the length plus two times the width. And that would make sense because if I took 5 and I made this 2, this would be 5 and this would be 2. Wouldn't I add 5 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2? Isn't that the same as two fives? And I put it in parentheses there so you could see how that looked. Two fives is 10 and plus two twos would be 4. Okay? So, I'm just trying to show you that that is why this formula will work for any rectangle or square, because squares are rectangles. So, we're going to learn to use the formulas. Now, you have been given a reference chart, and you will have this reference chart on um, the star day, and anytime we give a test, you are welcome to have it. You will be getting one in my room. It's a purple one. Let me pull it out really quick. And you'll be getting one, and Miss Fuller, or I'm sorry, it's blue. And Miss Fuller has one, and some of you already have yours. We've passed them out before, but I wanted to pick them up and really use them for this time. On the back side, and then this is in your um, canvas at the top of the lesson, and you can look there. It shows you perimeter of a square, and it has a formula here, and perimeter of a rectangle, and it has a formula here. And um, I'll be pulling those reference charts up on the smart board later. But right now, I just want you to see, I'm going to tell you what they are right here. But they have two of them for a rectangle. So hopefully, if you could look right here, the rectangle, the two that they have for perimeter of a rectangle is P is equal to length plus the width plus the length plus the width. Or P is equal to two times the length plus two times the width. Okay? If you're looking for a square, all the sides are the same. So since all the sides are the same, we can take four times the side. 
And we'll, we don't see that one as often, but we will talk about it here. And those are, you don't have to memorize them. You just have to be able to use them and know how to use them. So if I'm looking for the perimeter of a rectangle, all the way around it, remember? And I know your teachers have taught you like a basketball rim, the round part of the rim, it's a round. You're talking about a round. To find the perimeter, you are going to write the formula for the rectangle. And all you have to do is look that up. P equals two times the length plus two times the width. Don't let it scare you that there's L's and W's in here. We know this is length and this is width. Now something they teach you, and they teach you this in algebra, and next year when you go into fifth grade and on to sixth grade, is anytime I replace a letter with a number, I put that number inside a parenthesis so I don't forget what I'm supposed to do with it. Okay, so this is a lot for our heavy brains to learn, but it's really important for us to kind of see it and to kind of do it now, especially since they give us this formula like this, but I know you guys can do it. So P, we re always rewrite, and um, if you're a Miss Fuller in my class, you know that we're going to be having you write these formulas and work them down just like this. And we're going to do enough of them that you're gonna, it's going to start getting, becoming natural for you because in higher level math, you work these down. Two times the length. So in place of that L, we're going to put 12 because that's the length. And now, notice we're just doing a distance around here. Now we're gonna, all I'm doing is rewriting this formula and in place of L, I put 12, and then plus two times the width, and inside the, I'm gonna replace the W with the letter. The width is eight, but I'm gonna put that in parentheses, and that parentheses reminds me that side by side tells me to multiply because that's two times the length, and that's two times the, width. Okay, I'm not even opposed for you to doing this if it helps you. You could say p equals 2 times 12 plus 2 times 8. It looks a little bit messier. I mean it's kind of spread out more. It looks like a little bit more work. Or you can learn to put to replace these letters with parentheses. Um, when you put a number inside of there. And I think this is an easier way to go because as you get into middle school and high school, that's exactly how you will re, um, put, you'll, re, um, you'll substitute those letters. So then, that's one of our, fa our basic facts. We know 2 times 12 is 24. So then down here, I'm just working part of my problem out. But I'm still, I'm figuring out what my multiplication is, but I'm going to still add my plus sign, and 2 times 8 is 16. Then you guys know you can come out to the side and add 24 and 16, and we get 40. So P equals 40, and it is just a distance around. It's a length, so all it is is in meters, okay? Since it's just a length around, it's in meters. Those are the units we're using. So this would be your answer. Notice how many steps there are when we did that. One, two, three, four. On all of your questions and your on your problems, you're going to actually be working them down and having four things. And anytime I work problems, I kind of take it out to the side. And Always, always feel free to rewind this video and watch this again and listen to, um, listen to it again because that will help you. Now we talked about this one. Area is the number of square units needed to cover the surface. So if it was a centimeter by a centimeter, this would be one centimeter by one centimeter. It's a square. So we're covering space here. So when we're looking for area, we're looking for the space inside. Space is covered by, we had to use squares, and so our units are square units. They're not just regular, they're square units. They're two-dimensional. Um, squares are two-dimensional figures. 
where, do, where did the area formula come from? So let's look down here, okay? And we can kind of tell that if I want to know the space inside, if I look in this, I see that there's eight centimeters across and three centimeters coming down. So to find the space inside, we would take the length times the width. And you guys know that from working with arrays. We worked with arrays in here. You worked with them in third grade. And we actually put them in grid chart paper. And that's how we knew that multiplication was groups of and repeated addition. So here it would be the same. It would be repeating 8 plus 8 plus 8. So that's why we can multiply. So in your math chart, it's going to say area is equal to the length times the width. And it actually shows you just like, and I'm going to pull this up here, area is length times the width, or area is equal to a side times a side, and that's if it's a square. But you can also use length and width for a square because a square is a rectangle. So if I wanted to find the area of this figure up above right here, let me pull this back down. You write your formula. A is equal to length times the width. So A is equal to 8 centimeters times, see all the steps here, 3 centimeters. So area, and we times it, 8 times 3 is 24, and a centimeter times a centimeter is a centimeter squared. We can't forget that. Some of you are looking at this right here. I know you are. And remember I told you if you have a letter and a number next to each other, it means to multiply. If you have a letter and um, parentheses or two parentheses next to each other, it tells you to multiply. If you have two letters next to each other, it's telling you to multiply as well. So this isn't in your math chart, but because they are starting to show you this stuff, I'd like to show you guys because I know... I know you guys are way ahead in math. So another way you could do this, if you would like, is you could write length times the width. And they just write, you would just write those next to each other. And me knowing that they're next to each other and you knowing that they're next to each other tells you to multiply. Then you could replace your length with 8. And I put it in parentheses. And your width with parentheses. Now the cool thing is, is if you have one, a number next to parentheses, it also tells you to multiply. So I'm just going to tell you this out to the side. You could do 8 times 3, or you could do 3 times 8, and only have one number in parentheses, or you could put both numbers in parentheses, and that would be okay. All of that tells us to multiply. Like we need all these ways to tell us to multiply. There's tons of ways to tell us to multiply. Not so much to add, but to multiply there is. So then area is equal to, you just have to remember, it's 24, but when you're doing area, your units are centimeters squared. We can't forget that, okay? So, find the area of a rectangle with a base of 15 inches and a height of 5 inches. So here, I put this one on here, I remember when we made notes, Ms. Fuller and I, because the base is the bottom part of a rectangle. It's kind of like the base of the wall right here, it's that bottom part. So this would be, the base would be 15, what did it say, inches, and the height is five inches and hopefully you're just following along in your book and in your um, notes and if you're at home you may need to pause it. I pause it a lot of times and I walk around and we check our notes and we make sure that we're all keeping up. So this is the height. This is how tall that wall is. If I'm talking about this wall, the height would be how tall the wall is up here and the base would be what it's on the firm bottom part of it. So another formula, and this is not in your math chart, but you guys are so because your bears area is equal to the base times the height and the base I need to tell you is a lowercase b 
when they do talk about the base. They'll say the word base to you if they do. And actually, I haven't seen this that much. But basically, you're going to do the same thing when you're finding area. It's a number of square units to fill it. Find the space inside. When I'm finding the space inside, I have to use square units. So the base is 15 inches, and you could write inches times 5 inches. So then out to the side, 15 times 5. So area is 75 inches squared. Okay. And then here would be my answer. So I can see all the steps of working it down. When, I, um, when you're in higher level math, it's nice to look at the work going down because it helps you see if you did make a mistake somewhere, but it also helps us teachers to look and see, oh, are you really understanding what to do? And when you come down, are you getting all the steps to solve this problem? I mean, some of you can probably do this in your head or most of you could just know that you're multiplying it. But using formulas are really a roadmap that tell you the answer. And so they're really, we want you to use them and to go back in there and to recognize them because a lot of times they'll ask questions that way. Okay. On this one, it says find the area and perimeter all the way around the following rectangle. So we're going to find both because on the worksheets that you have, you need to find both using the formulas. And you will pull your formula from your math chart. But um, since I know we were going to do the area first, and we just did that, area is equal to the length times the width. So it really just tells me what to do. If I understand this is the length, this is the width. So the length is 15. And if you want to put them side by side, that would be perfect. Use parentheses. If you want to do it this way, it's not going to be wrong. Times 13 feet. Ooh, we get some great practice over here with our um, two by two. Okay, don't forget you got to make your turtle head. Five times three is 15. Three times one is three plus one is four. Lay that egg, cross off, check off. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 1 is 1. Add down, we get 195. So the area is 195 feet squared or square feet. We can't forget with area that our units are squared. Okay? Because I'd say, what did you measure that in? A length? You had 195 feet from here to, you know, however far that is. That's quite a bit of ways, but... You know, they're not going to know you're talking about space inside of something unless you're using squared units to know that. Perimeter, you write the formula down, which you don't have to memorize because this is in your math chart. That's what's nice about it. You're going to have formulas given to you all the time, all the way up through um, high school on your, on your math charts. They give you these formulas for all these different things. And all you have to do is plug into them. It's basically giving you the answers to all the stuff. So here, side by side says to multiply, so that's two times the length. And so in, in place of the L, I'm going to put a 15. And I'm showing these steps as we're doing it. 13. I'm not, I am, all I'm doing is rewriting this formula, but replacing the L and the W. That's all that we're doing there. Then we're going to work this problem out, but I still know it's the perimeter, 15 times 2. Most of us know that one in our head is 30, plus I'm going to work this out because it's saying to times 13, and most of you could probably do that in your head, but, you know, it's always if you need to go out to the side and work that out, is 26. Then this tells me exactly what to do. I need to take 30 plus 26 and we get 56 feet. And since that's just the distance around, that's why the units is feet, our feet. We're not using squares to measure that, that's just the length. Okay. 
Now, I love this next one, and I really, um, it's, and I put this, we put this one on here because on your math chart, it does have you, it does give you formulas for squares. Okay? And if you look on your math chart, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, is on your math chart, we want to find the area perimeter all the way around the following square. So, a square, if I want perimeter, you could see it's telling you perimeter in the black, square, and it says... P equals 4S. We know P stands for perimeter. Square. Square is area equals side times side. We have to be able to recognize those because an answer choice may be which formula would be filled in correctly or what formula would you use to find a certain perimeter of the square, whatever that they're asking you. And you want to be able to recognize those formulas and, and put them down in case you're asked something like that. But area... was side times a side. So the first thing I do is I just pull that from your math chart. Pull that answer from your math chart because it's giving it to you. So we need to know that this is the side length. So this is a side length, this is a side length, and this is a side length. Four, your square has four sides, okay? And every side is the same. So if you got confused, you could do area of length times the width but what if that wasn't one of your answer choices? And so I like for you to use side times a side, which is 14 centimeters times 14 centimeters. Now, this one, sometimes we try to add that and we get the wrong answer or we get the perimeter mixed up with it. That's why I want you to literally pull it from your math chart. Area equals side to side, side times a side. Then out to the side, 14 times 14, really good practice on our 2 by 2 multiplication. 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5, lay your egg, make your collar, check off. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1, add down, and we get area is equal to 196 centimeters squared or square centimeters you want to make sure it's a lot to remember but if you're thinking area it's the amount of space okay the formula was P equals 4 s since you have and here's where they got this from I'm just going to show you perimeter would be add up all the sides so a side plus a side plus a side plus a side well isn't that the same if it's repeated addition? Wouldn't that be the same as four sides? Sure. So here, this is where sometimes we get confused. You rewrite this formula the exact same way. Bring that four down. The S is going to be replaced with that side length. So remember when we replace a letter, we put with a number, we put that number in parentheses. It's just a good habit to get into because it's not saying... If you don't, you're saying P equals 414, and we know that that's not the right answer, okay? You know that um, I must have did something wrong. You have to put those parentheses around that. And so then, out to the side, we're going to multiply. That's telling us to multiply. 14 times 4, 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So the perimeter is 56 centimeters. Please go back and re-watch these video over and over. Also, I put a copy of the complete notes where I had written them and stuck them in here for you in Canvas so that you can look and make sure that your answers and you're working them down correctly.